Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 8.2D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 37 of the 2024 released star test. This is a new item type called multiple select, and if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we've got a multiple select here, so we need to select two correct answers. So to see if I select the first two randomly. I am unable to select a third, so you're not able to select three answers. And if you select just one and try to move on, it will give you an error message, two point problem. Let's get a full credit here, two points, which means we need to find two answers. And we have here a value greater than pi. All right, so what do we know about pi? On our reference material, do we have anything about the equivalency of pi? No, in previous years we've had an equivalency of about 3.14, but we don't see it here on the eighth grade materials. So that's what most of us remember, so let's write that. So we're looking for something that's greater than about approximately 3.14. It's an irrational number. It actually goes on forever. And so, 8 thirds, like we could start some of this just eyeballing it, then we'll obviously need to get the calculator out just to verify. So, let's see, 8 thirds. All right, so that is going to end up being, right, let's divide up 3 into 8. That's going to be 2. So that's 6. And that's going to be 2. So, 2 and 2 thirds. Right, so 3.14, yeah, it's definitely bigger. So 2 and 2 thirds is going to be less than this 3.14. So no on this one. Now, 3.14. Okay, that's interesting. So I've got a 3.14 is equal to 3.14. But remember, remember that I said that pi is approximately 3.14. Right, so pi is approximately 3.14. We use that as a shortcut, but really the first four digits after the decimal are 3.1415. So if we want to look at it like that, we can say, well, 3.14 is actually going to be a little bit less than 3.1415 dot 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 or pi because there's just a whole bunch of zeros after that. So 3.1400 is going to be less than 3.1415 with additional numbers afterwards. So that's a close one. So it's got to be two of these three down here. Let's check 7 into 23. All right, so 7 goes into 23. That's going to be 2. That's going to be 3 times. All right, that's 21. 2 sevenths. All right, so I am not super familiar with two-sevenths as to what that decimal is. So we'll use the calculator on that one, but let's check these other two. All right, square root of nine. Well, that's pretty simple because three times three makes nine, so square root of nine just simply makes three. So it can't be that one. Uh, so it should be 10. All right, well, if we know that, right, the square root of nine is three, and then the next perfect square is 16. So square root of 10 is going to be 3 point something. A little bit above. But is it above the 3.14? All right, so we've got two question marks. Well, we knew we were going to have to bring the calculator out anyways. So let's go ahead and just do that now. Let's get our graphing calculator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to see 23 divided by 7. All right, three point, there we go, 3.2857, definitely greater than the 3.1415. All right, so that's a good one there. And then let's do the square root of 10. So hit the second, hit the x squared, get the 10. Oh, barely, 3.1622, definitely greater, but just barely than pi. So those are our two answers.